this tutorial will be more broader because I need to explain a little bit of uh, a lot of things that you can access as well being now in the University of Lisbon. So the first thing I need to show you or tell you is that if you come here to the login to Phoenix Edu, you need to put in this area the email you received when you did the registration. Um, they gave you a username, uh, more or less like th those ones, you know, and they told you how to uh, do your password. If you didn't receive that or you don't remember um, your password, what you can do is come to SGA, then recover password here, and then recover access to the Phoenix platform. When you come to this, this area, you can see down here, recover access, and they will ask for your email address. So you put your personal email address uh, and you will be able to recover the password. But imagine that you are not uh, capable of doing it. Uh, they say you don't have an account, an account in University of Lisbon. Don't worry, what you need to do is you will send an email to this email address. Okay, so you will send an email. This is uh, the informatics service and they will be able to help you with that, okay? Now, uh, why you need to, to have access to Phoenix? So, uh, if you enter in the, I will put mine. If you enter here, you will see that you don't have uh, almost uh, anything to, to see here. You can, uh, if you want to, you could see here your grades at the end, but this is a thing that Isabel does and tells you tells you about, and I don't think you need to know a lot about this. But with the credentials uh, of the University of Lisbon, you can use some um, online. They are like online um, e equipment that. Uh, the university has for the online classes or just to help students uh, in everyday studying so study things like the, you have here the office 365 so you can have it you also have a google account uh, the google account it's your venue so it's your venue and uh, the number they assigned you and then you put this part here okay this is your google account and you also and it needs um, like a premium google account so you have uh, more than a personal one and we also have a premium zoom so if you want to use uh, these uh, for the lessons uh, the, it's better because um, it's safer if you use uh, like a personal uh, personal account it, it could be hacked or, or something else so it's better if you use zoom Colibri that is the premium one and uh, you just need when you go to sta 
and you, when you enter STA, you see that every student, and if you are not, I will take care of that, but you should see one course called uh, Distance Learning. If you go there, we have all the tutorials uh, that you need. To, mine is a little bit different because I can edit here, but you have uh, uh, all the tutorial, tutorials for Panopto. You have the tutorials uh, of how to use Zoom Colibri. And I know here you are saying like, oh, okay, but it's everything in Portuguese, yeah. But if you go to the, if you open the other, the other stuff we have here, you can follow the images. So it's easy to, to, to see how to access like Zoom with a premium account. Just need to see it here. So, and we, always have uh, a tutorial in video or uh, with images so you can follow that i think that's all for now yeah let's see what we have here we are here we are explaining just about the the addresses the email addresses and other other things that the um, the teachers can use for their lessons as well but we don't use those ones that much so i won't tell you about it don't worry